Kim Kardashian took experimental fashion to a whole new level on Wednesday. In a series of sultry shots posted to her Instagram on Wednesday, the beauty, 41, worked her magic in a sexy belt dress which appeared to have been fashioned by Balenciaga creative director Demnick Vashalia. She upped the edge factor with flared Balenciaga shades and rocked an effortlessly chic bun. When I couldn't make it to the at Balenciaga show at Demna sent the show to me, she captioned the post. In addition to the fashion designer and brand, Kim tagged her skincare line SKKN and designer Betsy Johnson in the post. The images captured Kim in an array of different settings, from the outdoors to posing beside a white wall. As she laid in the dirt, Kim showed off her black-heeled sandals and toned legs. She gazed at the camera with shades concealing a good portion of her complexion, but her youthful skin still shone in the snaps. Interestingly, however, dirt covered parts of her arms and hands. In a more clean setting, Kim looked like a model as she posed by a white wall. The posts come amid the latest drama involving her ex-husband Kanye West. Kanye has now responded to Gigi Hadid branding him a bully and has claimed the Kardashians kept him from his children before Khloe blasted those allegations and begged him to stop tearing down her older sister Kim. The drama began early Wednesday morning when the 45-year-old rapper responded to the 27-year-old supermodel on Instagram writing, I wonder what Gigi and the new spare perspectives were when I didn't know where my child was on her birthday. Chloe, 38, then commented on Kanye's post as she claimed he knew where his child Chicago was on her fourth birthday and begged him to please stop tearing Kimberly down. She wrote, Yee, I love you. I don't want to do this on social media but you keep bringing it here. You are the father of my nieces and nephews and I'm trying to be respectful but please stop tearing Kimberly down and using our family when you want to deflect. Again with the birthday narrative. Enough already. We all know the truth and in my opinion, everyone's tired of it. Back on January 15th, Kanye had claimed that he was not allowed to know the location of his daughter Chicago's fourth birthday party as Kim was dating comedian Pete Davidson at the time. Chloe denied those allegations in her post as she said, You know exactly where your children are at all times and you wanted separate birthdays. I have seen all of the texts to prove it. And when you changed your mind and wanted to attend, you came. Like you have pointed out yourself, she is the one taking care of your kids 80% of the time. Please leave her and the family out of it so that the kids can be raised peacefully. Praying hands emoji, I come from a place of love and I am happy to continue this conversation privately if you wish. White heart emoji This comes just a day after Gigi has branded Kanye a bully and a joke after he insulted a critic of his controversial White Lives Matter merchandise. The rapper sparked outrage when he debuted the clothing at his Paris Fashion Week show on Monday before doubling down on his claims and dismissing Black Lives Matter, the social movement created to protest social and racial injustices aimed at his own community. In a series of posts on Tuesday, he lashed out Gabriella Carafa Johnson, a stylist and Global Vogue contributing editor, who had branded his merchandise indefensible, dangerous and violent. In his posts, West insulted Carafa Johnson's style and scoffed this is not a fashion person, before going on to share the ominous text this means war. 
He also shared a text exchange with a person called Moa Lola, presumably fashion designer Moa Lola Ogunlezi who Yi picked to head up Yeezy Gap a few years ago, in which he has been urged not to insult the writer. The exchange prompted Hadid, 27, to comment that West didn't have a percentage of her intellect, and said there was no point to his ST. Hadid wrote, You wish you had a percentage of her intellect. You have no idea haha. If there's actually a point to any of your ST she might be the only person that could save you. As if the honor of being invited to your show should keep someone from giving their opinion. Question mark lol. You're a bully and a joke. Hadid and Carafa Johnson have worked together in the past, with the stylist telling Elle earlier this year that she shares a true friendship with the model and there is deep respect and trust between them. West had lashed out at the Vogue writer after she shared videos from Yes Show captioned, Here come the bull's tea. I'm fuming. She added it was indefensible behavior, while calling the collection deeply offensive, violent, and dangerous. The rapper was not pleased about the criticism and proceeded to tell his followers, You speak on ye I must speak on you asked Trevor Noah. The rapper seemed to be referring to an incident with The Daily Show's Noah earlier this year in which he branded the presenter a KN. He had made the racial slur in response to Noah calling his treatment towards his estranged wife Kim Kardashian terrifying to watch. Elsewhere in his tirade, West shared a picture of Carafa Johnson's footwear as he scoffed, I know Anna hates these boots, seemingly referring to Vogue editor Anna Winter. The Grammy-winning musician also shared a screenshot of the stylist's Instagram profile that he captioned, broke the processor when the computer can't read the code this is a droid. He concluded his posts by sharing the text this means war across a black post. Actress Jodie Turner-Smith was also among the famous faces who hit out at the rapper's latest tirade, sharing on her Instagram story, I thought he said he was trying to bring people together? Fake and disgusting and embarrassing please go touch some grass and stop sharing your toxic thoughts. Hadid later added on her story that Carafa Johnson was one of the most important voices in our industry and could school that disgraceful man in more ways than he knows. She also shared a lengthy statement from Vogue writer Jose Criel Zunzueta who accused West of publicly bullying the stylist and said of his latest collection it's not smart. It's not interesting. It's not nuanced. It's dangerous. While Hadid is friends with the Kardashian slash Jenner clan she has made it clear that she does not align with West's views after she liked a controversial tweet that criticized the fashion industry for fawning over West. The 2020 post was addressed to the fashion industry and read, just in case you forgot, Kanye West advocates for Donald Trump's administration, and that gay hating, poor person hating, immigrant hating, woman hating, trans hating, animal and nature hating, abortion banning, sociopathic, genocidal agenda is the goodie in each of your Sunday service gift bags. The message then went on to accuse anyone of working to support Kanye's products of putting lives at risk. Lending your talents to West's product campaigns and your caches to the normalization of his heinous message endangers the lives of gay people, women, poor, middle and working classes, and the environment itself. The message concluded, you are producing right-wing propaganda with every tweet of elation, record cover, choreography or appeal of Christian joy that you contribute to West's dangerous campaign. While Hadid is a friend of the Kardashians and Jenners, she is also a loyal friend to her close pal Taylor Swift. The runway beauty spoke out in 2016 to deny claims she supported Kanye when she attended his Yeezy 3 where he debuted his track Famous in which he raps about Swift. 
At the time controversy swirled over whether the singer gave Kanye permission to use the lyrics, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex, why? I made that BH famous. After being spotted at the rapper's show, the deed made sure there was no doubting her loyalty to her girlfriend, my attendance somewhere does not mean I agree with everything being said in the music playing there. My friends know of my loyalty. The latest controversy surrounding Wes comes after he doubled down on his decision to showcase White Lives Matter shirts in his Yeezy collection. On his Instagram story, he wrote, Everyone knows Black Lives Matter was a scam. Now it's over. You're welcome. The outspoken star appeared to be reinforcing a lack of faith in the cause, which has developed a reputation for staging mass street protests regarding the perceived mistreatment of ethnic minorities around the world. Founded in 2013 following the fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin by George Zimmerman in the United States, Black Lives Matter gained global attention after playing a key role in the protests that followed George Floyd's unlawful killing by a white police officer in 2020. While the hashtag Black Lives Matter hashtag and slogan serve as reminders that inequality still exists on a global scale, West surprised fans well versed with his outlandish statements by appearing to make light of it on Monday evening. Launching an unexpected Yeezy show during Paris Fashion Week, he wore a sweater emblazoned with a White Lives Matter statement while watching his parade of models take to the catwalk in garments bearing the same inflammatory message. He was joined by divisive right-wing commentator Candace Owens, who beamed while wearing a complimentary version of West's sweater. The Anti-Defamation League has previously called the phrase White Lives Matter a hate slogan. The slogan worn on West and Owens shirts has previously been used by the Ku Klux Klan and other white supremacist organizations as an attack against the Black Lives Matter movement and black people more broadly. The move appeared to be another example of West's distancing himself from mainstream black politics. In 2005, West made international news when he appeared on a telethon for the victims of Hurricane Katrina and declared, George Bush doesn't care about black people. Since then, he has aligned himself with right-wing figures such as Owens, as well as former President Donald Trump, and has regularly sported a red Make America Great Again cap in public. During a May 2018 interview regarding his support of Trump, West said, Racism isn't the deal breaker for me. If that was the case, I wouldn't live in America. I am ye, and everyone here knows that I am the leader, West said at the event while referencing his new legal name, adding, You can't manage me. It is not the first time that West has stoked controversy surrounding race, after saying in 2018 that he thought 400 years of slavery was a choice. He told TMZ, when you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years? That sounds like a choice. You were there for 400 years and it's all of y'all. It's like we're mentally imprisoned. West later apologized for those remarks but also described them as an example of free thought. In April 2018, he again drew huge criticism when he tweeted, I love the way Candace Owens thinks. In response to West's White Lives Matter sweater, Lathan wrote on Instagram, We don't need a reminder of the worth of white lives. America is a shrine to the worth of white people. He went on, this message is reactionary to a message affirming the worth of black lives, which have never been worth anything in America. In its intent, it's a white supremacist notion. Lathan continued, 
because it posits that we can't have a conversation about the worth of black people without having a conversation about the worth of white people, which is effing insane. The producer concluded, the notion that it always has to be about white people in America is incredibly frustrating, emotional draining, and the whole problem. But here's Kanye, apparently centering that notion. In the hip-hop community, outspoken rapper Boosie Badass, who famously bragged about paying prostitutes to perform oral sex on his son, then 12, and nephew, then, 13, called out West Boosie said, After all we been through as a race you put this disrespectful ST on. You give no FKS about how blacks have died and suffered to the hands of the white man and you say Bush don't like black people. Really an A. While Temple University professor Mark Lamont Hill tweeted the picture of West together with Owen and wrote, Kanye West's decision to wear a white lives matter shirt is disgusting, dangerous, and irresponsible. Some of y'all will rush to defend him. You should ask yourselves why. Former ESPN presenter Jamel Hill said, so many folks are trying to excuse Kanye wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt as just a troll move or marketing. Maybe it is. She went on, but it's a dangerously dumb message to send for someone with his massive platform. I've been off dude. But y'all go ahead labeling his foolishness as genius. Will Smith's son, Jaden, tweeted, I can't stand behind what Kanye's saying. He doesn't have the full support of the youth. He followed that up with a simple, Black Lives Matter. According to Page Six, West gave a speech to the crowd while wearing the garment, and referenced his ex-wife Kim Kardashian's Paris robbery in 2016, where she was held at gunpoint as well as his fallout with clothing giant Gap. West's latest appearance with Owens is particularly surprising, as she called his ex Kim a prostitute on her Daily Wire show in September after Kardashian's ex Ray J claimed she and her mother Kris Jenner had released their sex tape in a calculated manner, like an album. Although the producer and fashion star has feuded publicly with Kardashian over her parenting and her ex-boyfriend Pete Davidson, he has expressed an ongoing desire to get back together with her for months. Among those modeling West's shirts was Cela Marley, 23, the daughter of former Fuji's lead singer Lauren Hill and the granddaughter of the iconic Bob Marley, a chronicler of black people's struggle for freedom. Sela posted video showing her talking and joking with West at the event. In the video, Sela is wearing a White Lives Matter shirt. She captioned the video, Love you at Kanye West. In total, Sela posted three videos showing her wearing the item. The model who is represented by Next Models, was previously the face of Beyonce's active wearline, Ivy Park SS17. In a 2017, she described West as one of her role models. Sela said, has been through a lot of persecution in the media and by people, but it doesn't stop him from being who he is. Owens has previously been critical of the NAACP, the Black Lives Matter movement, has referred to COVID-19 as a scam, and has claimed that white supremacy is not a pressing issue in society. Prior to the show, the rapper shared a photo of headshots of several models, actresses and singers, including his ex-wife, his current romantic interest Candice Swanepoel, Amelia Hamlin, Angelina Jolie, Emily Ratajkowski and others. However, it's unclear if they were all expected to make an appearance, or if they just inspired Yeezy Season 9 in some way. According to Page Six, only Naomi Campbell and Hamlin walked the runway. Shake was present at the show but stayed on the sidelines. 
Notably, the photos of the women were taken years or decades ago when they were particularly young. It's unclear why he sought out those photos rather than more contemporary photos of them. During his introduction to the show, West also referenced his former manager Scooter Braun. Braun is perhaps best known to the general public for purchasing Taylor Swift's master recordings, an act that infuriated her and has led her to re-record her entire catalog to prevent the current owners from garnering royalties. Naomi Campbell and Michelle Lamy were reportedly among those who walked at the show. Photos from the show appear to show some of the models wearing White Lives Matter shirts. The front of West's White Lives Matter shirt appeared to show a collage of photo of Pope John Paul II, with the bottom caption referring to him in Spanish as Juan Pablo II. The Yeezy designer is no stranger to offensive clothing. In 2013, he wore a jacket featuring the Confederate flag, and he has previously worn the red Make America Great Again hat favored by former President Donald Trump and his fans. West previously found himself in the spotlight when he trudged through mud at Balenciaga's fashion show for Paris Fashion Week in a thick, militarized ensemble. Shake who briefly dated the monster rapper after his split from Kim Kardashian, shared her congratulations on another epic Yeezy collection with a short Insta Stories video of him speaking in front of a much larger video screen of himself. He was also seen standing amid an array of earth-toned clothing that looked as if it had been carelessly thrown on the floor in a photo she posted. In an interview with Vogue Business prior to his show, West expressed his determination to make Yeezy an inclusive brand, despite having his hopes stashed with some of his recent clothing collaborations. The college dropout rapper recently terminated his collaboration with Gap, and he has now outlined his long-term ambition for his fashion brand. Kanye who has legally changed his name to Yi, explained, Our point, our idea, is that there is no one who is not welcome at Yeezy, at Donda. And that's why I went to Gap, he continued. And why I brought Demna, Gvashalia, Balenciaga's creative director, with me. To say okay, Demna's cut is at the top of what Paris has to offer. And Paris is at the top of what fashion has to offer. So let's bring Paris to the people. Asked why the collaboration didn't work out, Kanye said, they made the t-shirts we had done cost $200. And then, they took our color palette and made a shape that was appropriate to what I think someone in the office thought was at the bottom of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I felt that was civil rights. When asked to clarify his statement, he explained, well, when we went to shows, he began, referencing his 2009 trip to Paris with Virgil Abloh and other future fashion luminaries and friends, there were certain shows we couldn't get into. That relates to the civil rights movement. It shouldn't be that you can't have this fabric or have this cut until you've made it to a certain place or class in life. It's about dignity. And democracy. The chart-topping star subsequently suggested that he plans to run Yeezy as a vertically integrated business. He added, we just bought our fourth factory in California. Kanye recently hit out at both Gap and another of his collaborators, Adidas, for failing to fulfill a promise to build permanent stores for their ventures. Sharing his plans for his brand, the rapper wrote on social media, I'll buy the land and or building. Then we gonna open up in every state and then internationally. 
anyone who has over 10 years retail experience and is ready to change the world post your Instagram handle or store location in the comments and we'll find you. I signed with both Adidas and Gap because it contractually stated they would build permanent stores which neither company has done even though I saved both of those companies at the same time, sick. Kanye has been getting a chance to have some family time while abroad for Paris Fashion Week. His daughter North, 9, was with him while he chatted with Vogue ahead of his Yeezy fashion show, which was off the official Paris Fashion Week calendar. The show will be his fourth in the fashion capital, and just his 11th overall. On Saturday, he was seen taking her out to dinner in Paris, along with his other three children, Saint, 6, Chicago, 4, and Psalm, 3. The children had previously been traveling with their mother Kim Kardashian as she headed to Milan Fashion Week, though now they seem to be spending some time with their father. In 2020, West launched his own ill-fated presidential campaign. The Daily Beast later reported that the campaign was largely funded by Republican operatives as a means to split the black vote. In the run-up to the 2012 and 2016 presidential elections, he donated to the campaigns of President Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton respectively, 